Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. For anyone new here, my name is Alana. And today's video is gonna be another hairstyle using the Dyson Era. And this video is gonna be like, literally if you have five minutes to do your hair in the morning and you want it looking super chic, lovely, this is literally my go-to hairstyle if I just have a few minutes and I need to do it super quickly, but it looks as if I've spent like about half an hour doing it, but the reality is I've only spent like five minutes. Let's get started. I'm still trying to finish my cup of tea because everyone's always like, you always have tea and you never finish it. So I'm now trying to, every time I have a cup of tea finish it because usually I drink like a quarter of it and then leave it so guys before I get into this video I have something I want to tell you so I've decided I've decided that every Sunday I am going to release a video and I know that this may not seem like big news but like up until this point I've like willy-nillingly been uploading it's kind of like all over the place so I've decided I'm putting a stick in the ground if I tell you guys you can hold me accountable every single Sunday I'm gonna upload a video I've decided that on a Sunday it's going to be hair related so I kind of want to call it something and I want you guys guys to help me decide what I'm going to call it right. So I have a few names in mind. I have Sunday Secrets. Quite like that one. Sunday Sessions. The third one I like is Salon Sundays. So we have Sunday Secrets, Sunday Sessions, or Salon Sundays. After you watch this video, make sure the first thing you do is comment below and let me know which name is your favorite. I'm going to let you guys decide what you want to be called because it is for you guys. So I'm going to let you guys pick. I kind of want to do like every week like a hero product that I'm like, okay, I've been using this for however long. Some of the things I've actually used for years, but I just want to share it with you guys. I thought this would be a fun way of incorporating it into the video. So guys, my product of the week this week is, drum roll please, the Philip Kingsley Elastitizer 5-in-1 Treatment. Oh my God. Whenever I got out of the shower and brushed my hair, I did not have one knot in my hair. I'm not even exaggerating. Like the hairbrush just glided through it. Absolutely amazing. If you're someone who struggles with having lots of knots in your hair, your hair gets easily tangled. Mine certainly does. This is honestly, amazing one of the best hair masks i have ever used treatment that you put in your hair just before you shampoo and condition it your hair does have to be damp but honestly incredible so what you're going to need for today's hairstyle if you have the new multi styler you may want to start with this flyaway attachment because i'm just quickly going to use this to smooth out my hair because it is a little bit frizzy from the rain and then you will just need a barrel if you do not have this don't worry at all you can maybe just use the smoothing brush and just smooth your hair out if it's frizzy if it's not frizzy then you don't need to do any of this you will just need a curling barrel and it doesn't actually matter which curling barrel you have you can grab a thick one you can grab a thin one Right now, I grab the thinnest one that I have. You have the flyaway attachment, you're obviously just gonna switch that around so it turns into this smooth little barrel, and I'm just gonna smooth it out. So let's go. So, guys, whenever you are using the flyaway attachment, you wanna make sure that the barrel is facing downwards and you wanna move it down your hair really slowly. So guys, there we go. I just wanted to really quickly just smooth that out. I did not need it to be perfect. I didn't want to spend too much time on it. I just wanted to get rid of a little bit of frizz, right? So you are going to get a curling barrel. You're going to pop it on, obviously. I am going to spray um, some Philip Kingsley Daily Defense Leave-In Conditioner. You can just spray water, but I'm like, if I'm going to dampen my hair, I may as well dampen it with something that's actually going to add a little bit of moisture and dehydration. It's just going to help the style a little bit better if your hair is a little bit damper. Okay, this hairstyle is going to work really well if you have layers, but it does obviously work too if you don't have layers. Right now, my layers are actually so long. Okay, so you want to make sure you get the barrel so that whenever you hold it up to your face, it's pointing away it's pointing back towards the right hand side of your face so as in my right hand side so whenever you're doing it you want it pointing back towards your right hand side of your face I'm gonna put it on high heat and high speed and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do guys you are going to start by getting the ends of your hair and you're gonna wrap them around the barrel you want to make sure that you have it loose enough so that you can roll the barrel up and down like I am doing here but you want to make sure that you're also pulling it so it creates tension that's just gonna help really accentuate that flick at the end guys I have this on high heat and high speed obviously because your hair isn't wet you will sometimes need to wrap the hair around the barrel yourself as you can see I am doing that here you just may need to give it a little bit of a helping hand and um, but as you do it you'll see that naturally it catches some of the other pieces of hair as you can also set this with a cold shot if you want to make sure that that flick really stays 
I'm going to move on to the opposite side of the hair. You're going to make sure that you give it a little bit of a dampen. I'm using my Philip Kingsley leave-in conditioner and you want to make sure you give it a brush. And as you can see on this side, it really easily caught the ends of my hair. My hair just wrapped around the bar really naturally. But like I said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with giving the ends of your hair a little bit of a helping hand and wrapping it around the edge of the barrel. Like I said, I have it on high heat and high speed. And obviously guys, if you have layers, you can just imagine how beautiful this would look. If you have layers, you want to start with the shorter layers first and then you want to do the longer layers last. Hey guys, once we have done the ends, we're then going to get our bangs. Give them a little bit of a brush. Spray them, dampen them a little bit. You want to always make sure you spray your bangs with some sort of defense spray because we do a lot of touching at the front of our hair, a lot of styling, and it's just more susceptible to breaking a little bit easier. You're just going to wrap your bangs around the barrel, and again, you want to make sure that it's loose enough so that you can roll the barrel like I'm doing here, but you want to also make sure that you're slightly pulling on it so it has some tension. You can also set this with a cold shot if you like. I didn't in this video, but you absolutely can. Then you want to go around and do the little face framing pieces that you have and make sure you also give them a little bit of a flick. Make sure you leave your bangs for about a minute or two before you pull them out. Now guys, there we go. That is just a super quick way of just adding some bounce, some volume, giving your hair that little blow dry effect. If you're like two, three, four, five days into hair wash, you just wanna refresh it, you only have a quick five minutes before you need to go to work, before you need to go out, whatever it is you need to do, that is just honestly one of the easiest hairstyles that you can do with the Dyson Era. Obviously, if you feel like you have more frizz, because it is still straight at the top, you can very easily just add the flyaway attachment back on and you can smooth out the top of your hair. I might just give it another quick smooth now. You might just want to focus just on the top section. Well, that is just giving that a quick smooth. And obviously, I'm sure you can tell that if you had layers that were a little bit shorter, it would just add so much dimension to your hair. If you did that to your hair, you'd have more flex coming up here and it would look absolutely beautiful. But like I said, you can also still do it if your hair is almost all the one length because mine is almost all the one length right now. I just have some face for me here, which it also works perfectly for. I'm actually just going to finish this off by adding a little bit of hair oil. This is the Coco and Eve Miracle Hair Elixir and it smells absolutely insane. I'm obsessed with this. It's vegan, which I know. I'm just going to add a little bit onto the tips of my fingers, give it a good rub in and then give it a bit of a scrunch. That oil is also just going to help get rid of some more of those little flyaways and any frizziness. This hairstyle, I like it looking a little bit messy, a little bit tousled, you know, not so neat. That's kind of the hairstyle that we are going for here. So don't worry if you've still got some flyaways and it's still looking a little bit, you know, tousled. That's how we want it to look. I guess generally this hairstyle actually holds quite well for me but because it is so quick and easy literally if I sleep in it and it's come out a little bit I will just spend another quick two three four minutes the next day just adding some more weave and curl at the end because you can see how simple and how easy it is to do this is not a hairstyle that you want to be really neat and precise with the rougher you do it sometimes the better it ends up looking so you just want to give that natural like kind of tousled look which is just super easy this hairstyle also looks really really well whenever you wrap your hair up and put it in a grip because your bangs just style really really nicely and the flicks just kind of come out over the clip and it looks super super cute so guys i hope that you enjoyed that super fun little video i will be back next sunday with another video so make sure you hit subscribe so you do not miss out i also will be uploading a video every week during the week as well but that will differ sometimes it will be a fashion haul it might be a little bit more beauty and makeup
makeup related you'll just have to subscribe and see what it's going to be that way but guys let me know what you want these little sunday videos to be called so we have sunday secrets sunday session or salon sundays let me know what your favorite is and comment below i will see you next week for another fun little video